That's no moon. It is an algae robot. An article from Hackaday.com by Al Williams. This January 2022, a research study was published in the Journal of Biological Engineering which was led by Neil Phillips. When you think of a robot, you probably don't think of a ball of underwater algae. But a University of the West of England team of researchers, used a 3D printed exoskeleton and a ball of marmo algae, to produce a moving underwater sensor platform. It is really at a proof of concept stage, but it seems as though it would be possible to make practical use of the technology. The researchers encase the algae in a PLA exoskeleton. As the balls conduct photosynthesis, they generate gas bubbles. By controlling where the light strikes the algae, gas bubbles form in one area and this drives the surrounding ball in the opposite direction. If the ball had a way to control the direction of light, it would be possible to steer the robot. The algae that is being used is called marimo, which a rare growth form of Egogropila linei, a species of filamentous green algae, in which the algae grow into large green balls with a velvety appearance. The species can be found in a number of lakes and rivers in Japan and Northern Europe. Colonies of marimo balls are known to form in Japan and Iceland, but their population has been declining. Marimo were first described in the 1820s by Anton E. Soter, found in Lakes L, Austria. The genus Ecogropila was established by Friedrich T. Kutzing, 1843. The algae was named Marimo by the Japanese botanist Takiya Kawakami in 1898. Mari is a bouncy play ball. Mo is a generic term for plants that grow in water. The university team based in Bristol dubbed their invention a Marimo Activated Rover System, or MARS for short. MARS is basically one half Marimo, one half machine. Almost like a new character in Star Wars. MARS isn't a fast moving system. Speed varies by the level of sunlight, but the fastest measured tests clocked in at roughly 3.5 inches per hour. Explained Neil Phillips at this early stage of development, the maximum achievable speed is unknown, he also notes that a sphere with a larger diameter could move quicker. But to human perception, Mars bots will probably always move at a snail's pace. So what good can these slow-moving balls underneath a lake be? Mars can be loaded with all sorts of low-powered sensors to gather environmental data in situ, underwater sensors capable of measuring salinity, turbidity, pH, pollution, and more. He imagines these sensors could either be powered by a battery themselves, or actually use the motion of the ball itself to generate energy for full self-sufficiency. Phillips also says that their printable, self-powered, maintenance-free construction makes them far more reliable and lower cost than any complicated alternative. Plus, it's hard to imagine any machine that could last as long as a Mars ball because the system has no moving parts, and its battery might last centuries, the oldest living Marimo is over 200 years old. Phillips suggests that seaweed could be swapped in for the marimo, making the design work in the world's oceans along with its lakes. So one day, these photosynthetic-powered algae robots, could scan for life on ocean planets, in a galaxy far far away.